One or two? One. One or two? One. Can I try this one? One or two? One. Last one. One or two? One. Okay. Yeah. I'm Brandon. Oh yeah, I'm John. And welcome to The So-and-So -so Show. We have an incredible show for you today, I think. I think it might be yeah. one of the best shows ever. It's the best an show. Epic, yeah, mm -hmm. an epic Bible story. Lots of fun and hilarious antics. Mm -hmm. Plus, hmm? I, I don't know what you're I doing. I got new glasses! Oh! See, look at them. Oh, what? Man, every time. Why did you? Show's going well so far. No, 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 and this is not a problem. Let me just, I'm, I'm just, gonna, right. just gonna get those, all right? Okay, well, they're not over there. Where, where do they go? They're, you threw them in front of you. Oh, sorry. Okay, well, I'm coming back over here. You know, I, you know, the, my old prescription, you know, it gets old. That's why they call it an old prescription, right? Yeah. And every now and then you gotta get a new one so that you can focus a wee bit more. My, right there. Where, where? Look where I'm pointing. I, I, I there, can't. I'm sorry. They're on the ground. They're on the ground. Oh, right. I look do you down. need me to help you? No, 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 no. Hold on. I. Oh, I found them. Uh. Oh. Okay. Okay. Let's work. Is it okay? Oh. What? No, they look good. Uh, <laughs> this isn't gonna work. Oh no. <laughs> okay, you know what? No problem. I don't want to ruin the best show ever, so I'm just gonna go upstairs and get my old glasses. Do you want me to get them for No, you? no, 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 no. You stay here and, and make the show happen. Okay. Oh, that's not the door. Okay. It's. Do you need. I, I'll tell you what, I'll just stall yeah. until you get back. And okay, we'll sounds good. Have the best show ever. <laughs> All, right. All right. Do you need me to help you with that? Yeah. I, 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 there's a hole right here. Yeah, well, there's a handle <clears throat> below that. Okay. Oh, oh there's. What did I do? I don't know, I can't get my finger up. Ow! These doors are hard. Yeah. I'm gonna get these fixed. Wow. Ow. Mm. Oh, okay. Let's see. Okay. Best show ever, here we go. I know, everyone likes poetry, right? Here's a new segment I call Haikus with Brandon. So and so, and so, one too many so's for show. Two will do, three, no. Man, haikus are short. Is John back yet? I'll just, I'll just, uh, hold on. <laughs> John! Brandon? Yeah, John? Can you hear me? Yeah, where are you? I'm not sure, I, uh, oh, wait. Brandon? John, how did you, how, how are you? I don't know. I can't see anything. Everything is so orange. Well, I, I mean, can you go back the way you came? Like, retrace your steps? Okay, I'll try. Oh, where could John be? Lost in a world of orange? or a world of orange. John? What? Uh, I'm still here. Brandon, you gotta help me. 
Huh. Anyone? Help! Wait, Anyone? no, John, don't leave me here! Not again, not again! No, 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 no! I got nothing! Nada! Zilch! This isn't working. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? I'd say this qualifies as a co-host emergency. Here it goes. That was fast. Yeah, it was, Brandon. Oh, no. Oh, yeah! Well, howdy doody, everyone. I'm Fred, and welcome to the So and Fred Show. And this is my co-host, a Brandon. Brandon, right. Hi. Brandon. Exactly. I can't believe you're my emergency co-host. <laughs> Please welcome, howdy doody, someone who knows stuff. We don't have a guest today. What are you talking about? Ah, oh, Brandon. Friendly banter. A friendly banter. Friendly banter. Oh, boy. <laughs> Laugh authentically. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Oh, Brandon, that was a good one. Who's up for some more haikus? Ask a question. Make direct eye contact, making your co-host believe that you are actively listening. Fred? Mm-hmm, yes, howdy doody. Yes. What are you doing? Oh! I'm just putting into practice all the things I learned on my online class. Hosting for the internet. John! Huh? Huh? Whoa, howdy doody. Please welcome someone who knows stuff. What is happening? Who are you? And tell us what you know, John. Is that Fred? Yes, yeah, me, Fred. I'm here with Brandon. How'd you get up there? Hey, John, I really could use you back here right now. You broke the glass, didn't you? I didn't know what else to do. I, 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 I had no, I, wait, no. Uh, it's Bible story time with Kellen. What's up, fellas? Oh, oh. Hey, hey, what, what are you doing here? Oh, Kellen and I, am I happy to see you? Uh, thanks, but wh why are you... Who are you? What do you know? Fred? You broke the glass, didn't you? It was an emergency. <laughs> That's a good one, Kelster. Kellen. Fred. And this is Brandon. He's Brandon. my best friend. It's... Thank you, Brandon. Help us, Kellen, this is a disaster. Actually, this works out great. Huh? Yeah, one of the so-and-so show players called in sick, and it's a pretty epic sea voyage story, so we're gonna need all hands on deck, so to speak. The so-and-so show players? Yeah, do you think you can fill in for us? <gasps> can I? Yeah. Oh, it's, it's that way. Okay, so you may have heard of this guy named Paul. He wrote half of what we now call the New Testament in the Bible. Paul had a mission to tell the story of Jesus to as many people as he could. He traveled all over the known world doing just that. God even promised Paul that he would take Jesus' story all the way to the city of Rome. But God didn't promise it would all be smooth sailing. Whoa! Whoa! Ship lighter, throw things overboard! Hurry! Back then, talking about Jesus was against the law in some places. So Paul was actually in prison when it was decided his case would be tried in Rome. The plan was to travel safely to Rome by ship, but a horrible storm changed that plan. Don't worry, Captain. 
An angel told me last night that not one person will die on this ship. Yay! Uh, only the ship will be lost. Oh. Not my mannequin! We must run the ship onto a beach somewhere. Welcome to Malta. Not yet. What? He said beach? Later. Oh! Hurry! The storm lasted for weeks. The crew was frightened and hungry. They had wondered if Pa had been right about everyone being safe. But then, just when they were about to lose hope... Land ho, Captain! Where? Ooh. There! We've run aground on a beach! Welcome to Malta! No! The ship's breaking apart! Ugh. Swim for it! Ugh. All 276 people on the ship reached the shore safely, just as the angel promised Paul. They hadn't made it to Rome, but rather an island they were unfamiliar with. Oh, help me. Whew, it's cold. Oh, maybe we should make a fire. Yes, do that. Where are we? It looks like any other beach. I said, it looks like any other beach. Welcome to Malta. <laughs> so, yeah, their ship crashed on the island of Malta, and the villagers of Malta were very kind to their unexpected visitors. We thought we were goners for sure. Oh, thank you. But then our ship crashed here, but not one person died. Not one. Uh, you all have been really great, by the way. Thank you. Uh, okay. Uh, here we go. Mm, yeah. Ooh, ah, snake. Uh, <sighs> uh, oh, Dad, he must be a murderer. Oh. He escaped the ship, but the God of Justice won't let him live. Yeah. Ouchie. He will surely swell up. He will surely fall dead. Ooh, look, marshmallows. Can I? Thank you. Yeah. Whoa. Paul and his shipmates stayed on Malta for three months. While they were there, Paul prayed for the villagers and those who were sick were healed. And when their ship was repaired, they completed their voyage to Rome, where Paul told people the good news of Jesus. The end. Great story, Kellen. Yeah, it's wild, right? Storms and shipwrecks and snake bites. Talk about things not going according to plan, huh? <laughs> Maybe not Paul's plan, sure but it looks like God was in control the whole time. Oh yeah, if it weren't for the bad things that happened, everyone may have missed out on the good things that happened on Malta. Plus, it wouldn't have been as good of a story. Hey, you're back. Yeah, yeah, the so-and-so show player showed me a shortcut. Turns out they're not so bad. Oh yeah, they're amazing. Yeah, let's not overdo it. Thanks for letting me visit, Kellen. Listen, I know the show didn't go the way you expected, but, but I think it turned out great. God has a way sometimes of making something good come out of something that seems bad. You just need to remember to focus on Him instead of whatever's happening. Yeah, wow, that's great. Thanks, Kellen. No doubt. I'll see you next time. Later. See you, Kellen. You know, he's right. Something good can totally come out of something bad. Like, today, I got trapped in Kellen's bubble, which seems bad. Yeah, but then Kellen needed you to help tell the Bible story, which was good. Mm -hmm. Although, we did have to change the show at the last second, which seemed bad. But then you got to finally share your poetry with the world, which was good. True, true. That's what I do. Mm -hmm. 
did. And then Fred came on as your co-host, which seems bad. But then, I'm still, I'm, I'm still thinking about what the good is. Where is Fred, anyway? I don't know. Reveal the question! Oh, when have you seen something good come out of something bad? Yeah, you saw how things worked out for us. What about you? When have you seen something good come out of something bad? You know, Brandon, I don't think this was the best show ever after all. Oh, no? I think it was better. Oh, can you be better than the best? Yes. Okie doke. That was the so-and-so show, folks. See ya, folks! <laughs> Whoa! I'm in a bubble. Howdy doody. I'm in a bubble. How'd I get here? Howdy doody. In a bubble. Yeah.